Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at the difference between elements and compounds. Don't miss the quiz at the end of the video. So here's the definition of an element that you need to remember for your exam. An element is a substance made from only one type of atom. So if we think about a piece of gold, gold is on the periodic table, everything on there is a chemical element. Now if we could see the atoms in gold, we'd see that all of the gold atoms are the same. People lose marks on the exam saying that an element is made from only one atom. It isn't. We can see that there's more than one gold atom in that gold bar. There would be millions. What they really mean is there's only one type of atom. So do be careful with your words in an exam. The definition of a compound that you need to learn is that a compound is made from two or more elements that are chemically joined together. So if we think about the atoms and molecules in water, we can see that each water molecule is made from oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms chemically joined together. And that's what makes it a compound. If they weren't chemically joined together, it would just be a mixture. When it comes to naming compounds, when there are two elements chemically joined together, the second element changes to "-ide". So for example, if we had copper and sulfur joining together, it would make the compound copper sulfide. Similarly, sodium and chlorine would make sodium chloride and zinc and oxygen would make zinc oxide. So in an exam, if you didn't change the name to ide on the second element, you wouldn't get the mark. Also notice how we tend to put the metal element first like copper and the non-metal like sulfur second. When there are three elements chemically joined together and one of them is oxygen, then the compound will end in eight. So for example, if we had copper, sulfur and oxygen all joined together to make a compound, the compound would be called copper sulfate. So the copper, the sulfur and the eight is the oxygen. Similarly, Zinc, nitrogen and oxygen makes a compound called zinc nitrate and sodium, carbon and oxygen makes a compound called sodium carbonate. Okay, so now it's quiz time. So have a pen and paper ready and be ready to pause the video. Round one is element or compound. So for the following, say if they are an element or a compound. So pause the video for a minute Write down what you think the answer is, then see how you get on. So question A, copper is an element that would be made of all the same type of atom and it's also on the periodic table. Lithium chloride is a compound because it's made from lithium and chlorine, two chemical elements chemically joined together. Zinc carbonate is also a compound. This time it's made from three things, zinc, carbon and oxygen because it ends in eight and sulfur would be an element. So well done if you got all of those correct. Round two is name that compound. So name the compounds made from the following elements. So once again, pause the video, write down what you think your answer would be and then see if you get it right. So question A would be magnesium fluoride. Make sure you've got ide at the end. Question B would be beryllium sulfide. And question C, because we've got oxygen in there as well, it would become calcium carbonate. The final round, round three, is definitions. So first of all, can you define what an element is? And secondly, what's the definition of a compound? Pause the video and then restart it when you've got your answer written down. So an element is a substance made from only one type of atom and a compound is a substance made from two or more elements that are chemically joined together. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, Revise Chemistry with Mr. B. Thank you for watching.